gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee. Hey friends, welcome back. So I was just taking a quick look at all my other videos that I've uploaded so far and I realized that I literally have the same hairstyle in every single one. So before we move forward, I just need to make sure that you know what I look like with my hair down. And then also what I look like with my hair up. <laughs> Should I just do the video like this? I don't know if I like care enough to like fix it or not. I think it looks okay. I also have no makeup on. This is like the third video. No, this is just the second video I've done with no makeup on. Well guys, welcome back to the channel. If you read the title, I'm sure that you know that this video is gonna be about my school horror stories. If you watch my first day of school vlog, you would know that teachers and I don't exactly get along. And so because of that, I have all sorts of stories all the way from middle school into high school into college of me and people just not getting along. I don't know. Some people just don't we just go like clash so i'm here today to tell you all about those stories those times where you know i was in a very sticky situation one of them even includes me going into iss which is in school suspension and some of you may be like <sighs> You were in in-school suspension. You're like the cutest little child I've ever met. And some of you might be like, Oh my gosh, in-school suspension, literally everyone had that who was like cool at my school. So literally like, that's not that great. But it was literally the only time that I'd had such a punishment, I guess. And for the most part, it was fine. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> not because I was like in trouble, but because I was like alone in a room and I just got to like do homework all day and like nobody would like bother me. That was just like my happy place. I guess if you watch my first day of school vlog, you would know that I absolutely love school and like all these things so anyways also here's a disclaimer I might get raged like really angry in this video at some point but yeah disclaimer <laughs> before I get more sidetracked let's go ahead and just get into the video so I'm gonna start with middle school I'm gonna start with the time that I got ISS so when I was in eighth grade I had this teacher let's call her Miss Krusty I would always go to Miss Krusty's class and I would sit with my friends and we would socialize a lot because it was just an elective and of course not everybody takes electives 100% seriously, especially if you're not that good at it. And this one was a home ec class. So we would always cook, we would always clean and learn to sew and all these things. So it just wasn't the class where all of us were like, oh, yes. <laughs> so this teacher was just not ideal. Like she would stand up in front of the class and there would be a ton of people in her class because everybody took home ec at my school. And she would just stand up in front of like these 30 people and she'd be like, Okay, everyone, so today we're gonna be learning and she'd be so quiet like so quiet to the point Like I could literally talk to my neighbor like whisper and you wouldn't be able to hear her at all Because you had to like give her your full entire attention in order to just be able to hear her And also she was like really calm soul like almost like picture like a yoga teacher <laughs> I don't even know how else to put it And so the way that she would punish us like the way that if anybody did anything wrong the way that she would kind of go about it is she'd be like that's one as in like that's your first strike and then you're gonna get another one and then by the third strike then you're out I don't even know like she never did anything if you like continuously did stuff She'd be like that's one and then the second one would be like that's one so as you can see this teacher was a character So me and my group of friends it was probably like it was probably like seven girls. We all got together one day after school just like waiting for the bus, like literally just like chilling. And we were like, oh my gosh, how funny would it be if we like created an Instagram of this lady? And so we did. It was mainly me and my other best friend at the time, but still like we were all in this together. Like it was just a joke in between all of us because we all had her. And so we create this fake Instagram account of this teacher and the bio is that's one with the little finger emoji. <laughs> and that just like cracked us up. Like this was like the highlight of our year, at least like of my year because I just thought all all the jokes on there were the most hilarious things ever and so me and my friend the best friend that I was talking about earlier we had theater together and usually for theater you would like kind of run around the school and like practice your scenes one time we were passing by Miss Krusty's classroom and we were like oh my gosh how fun would it be to just take a picture with her for a theater assignment so then we can finally have a picture to post so we went ahead and did that we were like hey Miss Krusty is it okay if we get a picture with you real quick and she was like yeah sure what's it for and we were like oh it's just for a theater project no big deal and she was like oh yeah sure so and we took a picture with her and that was our first post on that Instagram page a couple days later after we posted that a lot of people in the school started following the account and I guess somebody turned us in because maybe like a week later we all got called into the administrator's office and we were all put in this dark room it was so weird and one by one all of us were being taken to this interrogation room with a cop like a police officer I was 12 like I was in all GT classes like I don't know what they thought that all of us had done so we're all sitting in this dark room and the door was open so we literally couldn't talk to each other and then one by one we're all getting called in and then finally it's my turn so I go into this room where there's this cop and then where the administrator is and she's like so 
who made this account and like they just explained it to me and i was like oh my gosh like it wasn't me i have no idea i i don't think it was me and they were like we're gonna be honest with you right now if you don't tell us the truth you can go to jail and i was like I'm 12. Not that I was mad at them for telling me I could go to jail or that I didn't believe them. Like, I totally believe them. I was just like, I'm 12 and I don't know why I would go to jail for creating an Instagram account and making fun of my teacher. Which, like, yeah, that's rude, but, um, I don't know. So then I was like, I don't know what to tell you. I didn't do this alone. I don't understand why you're blaming me. And they were like, well, we're gonna be honest with you again. I was the last one to go in there. Just like, every single girl that has been in here has said that it was all you. And I was like, Okay, I'm that kind of person who's like, oh yeah, I'll take the blame, like, I don't care because, like, ultimately if you just don't want to take responsibility for your actions and for being a part of something, like, that's up to you, that's up to whatever, and I was just like, yeah, you're right, it was me, it was all me. So I think I got four days of ISS, but I can't remember, and then I remember that my best friend got, like, one day of ISS, and then this other friend that we had that we were super close to also got one day, but then everybody else, which, like I said, we were a group of seven girls, everybody else just got let off, like, without anything. And so if you're wondering why the other two friends got one day of ISS, it's because I think somebody else also said that they were like the main ones who made it. And then on top of that, those two girls had told me like after we all got interrogated that their parents were going to come speak with the administrator and like be like, my daughter didn't do anything and all this stuff. And so that's what their parents did. Both of my best friend and the other friend's parents came to the school and they were like, my daughter didn't do anything. She does not deserve X amount of days of ISS. And so they got a lot of days taken away. So when I told my parents, I was like, parents like come to school so I don't have to like, you know, be in ISS or whatever. I can get like less days. My parents were like, no. And I was like, oh. Support me. But yeah, that's the first story of how I got ISS for four days. At the time I had a boyfriend and it was actually like so much fun because he missed me. Like, and when I got out, he was like, oh, I like didn't see you in school. Anyways, <laughs> so that's the first story. Okay, here's the second story. So I got harassed over the phone. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. Every single day, I would either take the bus home or I would text my mom and she would come pick me up. But it wasn't every single day that she would pick me up. It was only like every so often. And so one of these days, I was in the car line waiting for my mom to come pick me up. And there was this dude there. We'll call him Josh. Josh was a kind of friend of mine, not really. He was just kind of like an acquaintance, but you know, like me and him didn't have beef or anything. I didn't really have beef with anyone. Like I'm not even, I don't even know. But anyways, I thought that me and him were like kind of like friends because we had talked before and like it was fine. We were in the car line and I used to have like a, a book bag. So like instead of having like a backpack, I had like just like a side bag. And so I was holding my bag and I was just talking with my friend. We'll call her Lauren. And so I accidentally like swing my bag over to look to see if my mom's there. So I literally just like turned my body and I accidentally like bumped Josh because he was just standing nearby. He wasn't really talking to us and his phone fell onto the floor and it cracked and obviously this was an accident so anyways i was like oh my gosh i'm so sorry do you need me to pay for it do you need anything from me and he was like no it's fine now my mom was there obviously because i was looking at my mom and i get in her car and i go home and it's you know whatever later that day i get a call on my cell phone at the time i had like an htm i don't even it was like these tiny little like fire it was called like a fire burner i can't even remember and i get this call and i answer and it was josh so I'm like, oh, hey, Josh, what's up? And he's like, how dare you break my phone? And I was like, what? You shattered my phone into a million pieces. Why would you do that to me? What are you talking about? We literally talked it through. I literally offered to pay for it for you. You know what? Your dad is a Mexican and he probably just goes around mowing lawns and you probably don't have enough money to pay for it. But you know what? My dad is actually a lawyer. So we're actually gonna sue you for breaking my phone. Okay. Bye. So I hang up the phone and I immediately, like I'm really shook, like I was 12, like I had no idea what was going on. Like I had never even gotten harassed like in a, like a cultural clash sort of way. Like I'd never been discriminated against as like a Hispanic person. So I'm pretty confused at this point. Like I didn't even take him seriously. I was like, yeah. So I go up to my dad and I'm like, hey dad, um, this thing just happened and I'm not too sure what to do about it. He said that you were a lawn mowing person and that you are Mexican and I'm just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so my dad's like, hey, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Just move on with your day and forget it happened. And I was like, 
cool. So then the next day I go to school and as always, you know, this stuff always happens to me. I get called into the administrator's office and this wasn't just like the regular administrator's office. This was like the supervisor of the supervisor's administrative office. Like this AP human was like an ex-military <laughs> man, like a what are those called like an ex-general like one of those people with really high titles and so everybody was like dead scared of him and his room was kind of like the room in the iss it was like dark it was like dim in his room it was so scary so anyways i get called to this guy's office and i go in and he's like okay val sit down and so i sit down and look to my left and josh is sitting right there so i'm like okay what's this about and the administrator's like, Josh here claims that you broke his phone and then harassed him over the phone last night. And I was like, huh? Like that didn't happen. I literally bumped his phone, offered to pay for it. He rejected me and he called me last night and he harassed me over the phone. And I think like the administrator like wasn't buying Josh's story because literally he didn't make an argument with me. He was just like, oh, all right, well you can go now then. And Josh was literally sitting there and he was so pissed. So then later that day, I talked with my friend Lauren and she tells me that she got called into the administrator's office because I mentioned that she was with me and that I could call witness to her being there and saying that it was an accident when I bumped his phone. And so she got called into the administrator's office and got asked if it was an accident and she obviously said yes because it was. So in the end, I never got in trouble, but that is like the only time in my entire life that I have felt like my race and my ethnicity has actually like made somebody say something to me. I don't know, I've had like a super blessed life, so that was like the only time in my whole life where I've ever gotten like discriminated against where I used to live. Because I lived in a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful neighborhood, in a beautiful place where everybody was like super nice and not about, you know, discrimination or anything like that, so. That's my story of how I got harassed over the phone because of my race. Um, this is where I'm gonna get raged because, okay. So one last middle school story, and it's about how I got in trouble for being bullied like for being the victim I got in trouble for that I did <laughs> so like I said at the beginning of this video teachers don't like me so I had this one teacher who hated me like hated me so much I'm not exactly sure why because it was a class that I loved it was social studies which has always been a class where I'm like oh I'm in my element I feel good I love to learn about this stuff and I'm a good student like okay maybe I talk a lot but honestly that's not like a reason to hate a student unless like obviously it's out of hand maybe it was out of hand i don't know but anyways we're gonna call this teacher miss acorn so one day i came into this teacher's classroom and i was walking over to my seat which i sat in the very front of the class like i said good student i sat in the very front of the class and so i had to walk all the way down this little aisle to get to my seat and there was this guy who would always make fun of me we're gonna call him brad brad would always make fun of me and as a 12 year old i literally didn't care i was like Okay, so Brad would always make fun of me and I was always like, screw you Brad. Like it was never a big deal, but it was never more than like verbal stuff and like him laughing at me and him and his friends like giggling at me and it was never more than that. But this day I was walking down this aisle and Brad tripped me and I flew. And when I say I flew, I flew across that aisle and landed like in front of my seat. Now imagine what you would do, like if this one person who would always laugh at you and like make fun of you and all this stuff, tripped you and you flew across the classroom like what would you do you would obviously be like either ow because you just fell or you would be like what the heck brad so that's what i did i flew across the classroom landed and i was like ow what the heck brad and my teacher had the nerve she had the audacity to say bow that's enough that day she wrote me up and sent me to the principal's office for being a class distraction. I can literally like feel the blood in my vein. I'm so angry. Like I have no, like do you, I can't even. Whenever she goes, Val, that's enough. I literally turn around and I'm like. Oh shoot. I said his name. I'm like, Brad just tripped me. He just tripped me. I flew across the classroom and she's like, I don't care. So she writes me the slip and I go to the principal's office and I'm literally like, I got detention for that. I got a three hour detention for that. And I'm pretty sure that was the detention where I met my boyfriend. So, 
Okay, let's go ahead and move on into high school. So in high school, I also had several teachers that just did not like me at all. One of these was a teacher who was mean to absolutely everyone. We're gonna call her Miss Wayne. So Miss Wayne taught chemistry and I was not the best at chemistry, but not like the worst, like I didn't fail out or anything like that, but I would just usually get Bs, whereas like I would prefer an A, which is okay. So I would go to this class and I would always like pray, like I would always sit there and whenever we were getting grades back, I would pray that I at least got a B because ugh, it was so hard. I would try my best, I would study my butt off and I would still only get Bs and I just was praying for that B so much. Oh, and let me just say, like this teacher had the worst attitude ever. Like she had either a stick up her butt or like something, I don't know what it was, but she was always so angry. So one day we're getting this quiz back, which I swore I did so bad on. And so she would tell us all of our grades by calling our names and then asking us to come to the front and then she would whisper it to us. I'm not exactly sure why she did it this way, but that's how she did it. So she's calling everyone's name and everybody's coming back to like, cause we were in like little lab tables. So everybody was like in groups and we were doing an experiment. So everybody in my group has gone called up and then it's my turn and everybody like shared what grades they got with me and they did pretty good. And I was like, oh, I think I did bad. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So anyways, so she calls my name. She's like Val and I'm like, that's me. So I go up there and I'm like, hi. And she goes, you got an 86 and I, was ecstatic. I was so happy that I got an 86. So after elementary school, I was never one of those kids who was like, yes, or anything like that. But literally I was ecstatic. So I literally was like, I made like the tiniest little gesture. I was like, and then I like danced away super tinily to my seat because she told me here and my seat was here in the little lab group. So literally she told me and I was like, and I danced all the way back like this all the way back to my thing. And she was like, Valentina, stop. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was just happy that I got a good grade. <laughs> okay, it's fine. And I'm never gonna forget that because literally like whenever people say like rain on your parade, that was literally her raining on my parade. Like you think you got a good grade? No, shut up. Like, ugh. okay, whatever. So I actually have a couple stories about college, but I'm actually not going to touch on them because I feel like this video is really long already. And if you would like a part two or a part three or anything like that, I would be more than happy to do it because I have several other stories, some of them including the teachers I mentioned in this video already. And if you'd like to see that, just go ahead and comment that down below or give this video a like. As always, you guys, I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your life in case that we never see each other again. It was absolutely wonderful getting to talk to you for a little bit and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. By the way, we ended up deleting that Instagram account and so it's like not anywhere anymore and all the pictures and everything that we did is completely gone. But yeah. <laughs>